All right, tout le monde, je suis Justin. On se retrouve sur la suite de Red Dead Redemption 2. Donc, euh, all right, on start l'émission. Là, je suis rendu avec trois missions. Je sais pas qui je vais aller voir. Il euh, y a Dutch qui est juste à côté, mais Dutch, j'aime ça le faire à la fin. Il y a John. Hum, les rapports avec les chevaux de luxe, ouais. Ok, je vais aller voir lui avant. Lui, après ça, je vais aller voir lui. Puis après ça, on va aller voir les Dutch. Let's go. I know you can hear me. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. You did good in Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Oh, all right, let's go. Right, girl. Y a le temps. Allez, faire une coupe de petite mission. J'aime le soleil, man, qui transperce la forêt comme ça avec la brune. Nice. Je pense qu'on est, euh, est chill. Rhodes, là, on est correct, je pense. Ils nous ont pas, ils nous ont pas spoté à rien. On est encore des étoiles de shérif? Non, même pas, fuck. Hi there, mister. to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Okay, see what I'm going to pass by. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best to do the Everybody and everywhere there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. 
Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Tell over there we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Okay, ça sent l'arnaque. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Yeah! Ah si, un beau cheval, John. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Okay. Oh, hello, Spy Sneak. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I. Okay then. But... Head on up to the stables. All right. Someone will come see you. Yeah. Relájate. easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Ah, these are only the set. Front. Hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Did good, girl. <laughs> Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Oh. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cer uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. 
Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Uh, so that'll be shit. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy, easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Easy, it's okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, Damn. quick! C'est sûr, il y a tout ça quelque chose qui arrive. Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Il y a un cheval qui bug. Le fil, il est long en hein, crise. C'est sûr. Je pensais qu'il avait fallu qu'on les euh, ride. Ah, C'est de rush. Ah, j'ai mon assez de gros pistolet, fucking fort. Ah, y'a un arbre à l'autre bout de seul dans un champ. Il est beau. C'est le cheval qui avait bugué tantôt. Une chance que j'ai un cheval qui va se faire vite. Ah, il est beau son cheval, man. Il est tout brun. Crinière blanche, tout. Wow. Mais plus beige, là. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. All right. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. 
Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them sir. fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here. Take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Ah, c'est sûr qu'on n'aura pas un gros montant de même, voyons donc. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Ah, c'est ça. On s'est fait avoir par la famille Grey. On va se faire avoir par la famille, euh, comment ça s'appelle? Breath. Je souviens plus. Fait qu'on va aller voir les autres familles. Ben, l'autre famille avant d'aller voir Dutch. Peut-être qu'elle va nous faire riche ou non. Morning. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Right, let's go. On s'en va voir Hosea. Yep. Je pense que c'était ce chemin-là. Ouais. C'est beau, tu sais. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Uh, whoa, j'ai plein de guns, moi, comment ça? On va laisser ça sur le cheval. Il fait des dégâts en salle, lui, par exemple. Il y en a lui qui est pas pire. Tabarnak. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. 
So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> <laughs> just so. Is she called No. Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of yours. Nice on fish fishy. Silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. Well, hey, whoa, whoa. Rich folks. Yeah, no. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Greg's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. <laughs> so, we're just gonna... Drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Je pas mon masque là. Non. All that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. Them Greys English. Excuse me? You not worried about them Greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Ah ouais, c'est cool là. Hein? What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. 
I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh oh. <sighs> uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank oh, you, nice. friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horses like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> okay. Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. <coughs> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Nice. No infiltration, man. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. You like going with spots on a gauze, is it? There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. On va commencer un peu se venger de. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Funny up. What you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Fuck. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. I was vengeing the uh, Grey who have fourré the barmac. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
Ben, okay, ouais, faut que je me promène dans même. Ah, c'est risqué de passer par là. Je vais attendre qu'il repart pour pas qu'il m'entende là. Mais je pense que je vais retraverser. Mais de l'autre côté. Fait que je vais faire le tour. La place. Merde. La meilleure façon de passer. Ouais, c'est ça. Eh. Euh. Quelle grange? Ok, t'arrêtes où est-ce que. Il y a le dude. Ok, Sean, il est là. Il va s'en occuper, je pense. J'espère qu'il va rien manquer. Alright. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur. Line her up. Non. 
got a fire bottle, right? Woohoo! Would you look at that? Haha! <laughs> hey, well, let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. Somebody shoot him already! I'll kill you! Back on the right here! Ah, fuck, j'ai pas mes... Seem to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. Ah, les... On fait chute partout, est-ce qu'il y a un cache ailleurs? Oh, une headshot. Ok, à ma place. Ah, il Ah oh, ok fuck il fait, fait... Je pensais pas fly détaché man Ok non c'est bon C'était lui qui était long là
Ah, c'est le bon cheval, ça, même. Ah, je pensais que là je les recharge. Il est beau ce cheval là, man. Je vais utiliser le cheval, puis s'il est... Il est bon, là, je vais le garder, man, parce qu'il est cool. Je trouve vraiment nice. Good job. Là, on va voir si elle va, nous... elle va bien nous payer celle-là, par exemple. On s'est fait fourrer par les Grey. On est allé brûler le champ. Puis l'autre, elle nous avait promis de la bonne argent. Wow, c'était payant, ça. Ah, c'est une fille. Non, elle va pas bien vite, hein. Accélération. Maniement, il est lourd. Hmm. Check elle, man. Ah, oh, il oui, oui. Ah ouais. C'est plate. Elle va à peine. Lui, il est beau en Chris, man. Il est beau en Nasty, mais elle, elle, elle va à peine. C'est un cheval de course. Elle, c'est une beast. Ah, je sais pas pour elle. Je l'aime, elle. Je la trouve vraiment nice. Mais après, d'accélération, elle va pas vite. Mais que je... Mais que il que je me sauve de quelqu'un, ça va pas être... Euh... C'est pas utile. Alright. On va aller voir Dutch. Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So... I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles. Charles. I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay, on attend pas Charles. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, voilà, Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hey, wait for me. Come on, we gotta stick together. 
Back to what I was talking about. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Ah, le petit, le petit camp la dernière fois. Easy. Yeah. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Compagnie manière. Euh... Oh. Oh. What do you think? Oh, attends. Il n'y a pas un indice là. Terroir. Tu as trouvé quelque chose? Ouais, une pomme. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look. say. I guess Tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Okay, my girl. Hmm. They went down the up here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect. Citralon is staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Ah, c'est lui. How much you want to find him? Yeah, I still ain't sure about that. Hey, get back on your horse. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller. Sort of formal, strange, sure, formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. 
Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got yep, lucky yep. there, my friend. Yep. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Hey, go plus vite, s'il te plaît. Une cabane d'un champ de maïs en approche ici. Ah, doit être celle-là de là-bas, l'autre bout. Ouais, c'est celle-là. Non? Oh merde. That must be it. Ah ouais, c'est ça. After that sack, oh. this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Did you do a burn? Je vais pogner avec mon lasso. Mal le prendre. Mal le sortir du champ pour être sûr qu'on. Euh...
Ah, si. Oh, ah ouais. We got one more, Charles. Comment ça, il était pas deux? his gear look around he can't have gone far ah that's sir <laughs> Allez, je l'ai fouillé. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Just isn't your day, is it? Est-ce que je les libère ou je les tue? Ben, je vais pas les libérer, mais les laisser là. Moi, on les tuera pas, on va les laisser là. Démerdez-vous, man. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. <laughs> What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it.
Alright. Je vais aller payer ma prime. Tant qu'à être ici. Hello again, sir. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Thank you. Ah là, faut retourner au camp. Qu'est-ce qu'on a au camp? Mika Bell. Ah, pas lui. Ah, là, ce qui me fait chier. Je l'aime pas. Alright. Ouais, c'est pas mal tout. Qu'est-ce qu'il qu nous reste à faire? Hein? Donc, euh, alright, man. Nous autres, on va cesser là-dessus. Puis, euh, on va se retrouver pour euh, la suite. On va retourner au camp et faire nos missions. À la prochaine. Ciao.